answer is the answer that removes obstacles. You can break rocks. So what are you praying about? Does it require that obstacles be moved? Then the spirit response in that regard is going to be a wind answer. In fact, for people that are intelligent spiritually, some of the prophets you find in the Bible, they will even in their request, they will recommend the kind of answer that they, are, they require to discomfit the attempts of the enemy in that peculiar situation. So God can answer by wind. And that answer is to take away what? The obstacles. Once upon a time when we were still in secular service, we were, this strange man was imposed upon us as, as our manager. Terrible creature. Hallelujah. The once peaceful place became a den of suspicion. Everybody was suspecting the other person because the, the turbulence had been brought into the ecosystem. The moment you see him, he will threaten you that when it's time to assess you, I, I will, I will do. <laughs> Everyone was on edge. It was a safe haven previously. But it was, it was turned into chaos because a strange creature came and missed us. Hallelujah. So I went to pray about this man. The first question is, is this man, is in your agenda? Because if the man has a stake in the agenda of God, my prayers may not, I may not find sufficient favor to displace him. Because it's the will of God that has put him there. And when I found out that he is not a, a, a player in God's agenda, ah, I pressed for that. I said, is there, we plead that he be displaced. I did that prayer for seven days. Then I saw the east wind in, in the spirit. I saw it. He came and moved him out of that seat. Hallelujah. So I went to work, and some of my colleagues that are cousins, you, the sons of the bond woman, they are our cousins. So they came to explain to me the ordeal they suffered the previous day, how that the man put them on the spot, and they left the office by 1 a.m. I announced the door, said the law. You know, those days, when I was still in public service, I was so proud of my God. <laughs> so proud, so proud of my God. So I said, don't say the Lord. I beheld in the spirit a wind, an east wind from heaven. And he took this man you are complaining about from his seat. And these words came to pass in seven days. Now, you know, I said I'm excited about my God. I was so excited about my God, especially when I have his word. I don't hide it. I come into the community of people and say, Don't say the law! In so much that one of our cousins wanted to get married, he brought the lady for scanning to see if there were demons in her. <laughs> the Lord can answer by wind. If there's an obstacle, and this is not the only time the wind came to displace people in, in the line of duty in order to pave way for the purposes of God. I've seen displacements of all sorts. Oh my God, may the Lord will open your eyes. Amen. All kinds of displacements. If there are people in the office that are standing in your way and they want to make life miserable for you, I have shown you the answer. This wind, you can get a wind answer faster than the other one. This one is available. It comes quickly. In two days, you can muster the east wind. 
Yes, in two days. You can muster the east wind. And before this week is over, how many of you have people in the office that are just oppressing your life? We will test it. We will test this wind on, on your situation. The people I'm talking about, the people that they were displaced, are very powerful Nigerian men. Very powerful. From all standards, they are the exceptionally powerful. And this wind, when he took them off those seats of glory, where he dumped them, they, even their memory was forgotten in that place. The prophet was asked to come out of the cave and to stand upon the mountain. And the first move that took place was a wind dancer. Are you there? And after the wind and earthquake, so the Lord, a spirit being can answer by earthquake. The earthquake is what we call the sound of intervention. The sound of intervention. Who has it there? The book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16. Acts 16, verse 25. After the wind answer, there was an earthquake answer. Sometimes the foundation of many things need to be shaken. Just like the foundation of many families need to be shaken before this week comes to an end. Yeah. So there are custom-made answers that are foundation, foundation specific. We can secure wind answers if there are obstacles standing in the way the wind can break the rocks. Sometimes the issues we are dealing with are fasting into foundations. And the Bible says that if the righteous, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Oh, if an intelligent, righteous man, he can invoke such responses, such answers from God that can rattle foundations. Acts chapter 16. Okay, let us, let us start. Can we start from a place where it will be easy to flow with um, the progression of revelation well, can we start from okay i think verse 16 is going to be the best place to start so that we can capture the entire story and it came to pass as we went to prayer a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying the same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These are the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days, but Paul, being grieved, turned and said unto the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of her. And he came out of her the same hour. And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrates, saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Romans. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrate rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, ch charging the jailer to keep them safely, who, having received such charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. What is the specialty of the earthquake? Oh, you are okay, you are fasting. 
I, I, will, I will forgive because you are in a fasting mode. And what happened? There was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were shake foundations. The earthquake answer can open doors. The earthquake answer can release chains. Iga boko. Iga kora kakola. It seems somebody needs an earthquake answer. <laughs> so an answer can come in form of an earthquake. Are you there? Okay. Number three, an answer can come in form of fire. You still remember? After the wind, then there was what? Earthquake, then there was now fire. Have you heard Elijah say before that the Lord, the God that answered by fire, let him be God. And answer can come in form of fire. Sometimes what you need is fire, especially if they are consumables, because fire is dispatched to consume. If they are consumables, fire, 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 fire is dispatched, is dispatched. If there are things that need to be consumed, things that need to be burnt off. Sometimes when we are doing deliverance and it's becoming difficult, hi, fire. You just release it. When you release it, the demons will be tormented. And then when you say, should we leave you? They will now recommend that. Cast us out. <laughs> <laughs> but they will recommend themselves. We need leave of this environment. <laughs> because a spirit can answer. How? By fire. Well, let's do the common one, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, from verse 1 to 3. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, from verse 1 to 3. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting, and they appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And he sat on each and every one of them. The 10 day prayer investment that they brought into the heavenlies was responded to by cloven tongues of fire. So God can answer by fire. If you do a proper examination of the circumstance, of the situation that bedevils you, you will have an idea of the kind of answer you need. Your prayers are more effective when you are demanding that kind of answer. Because Elijah was very specific in his request. Elijah did not open up possibilities of answers. There was a type of answer he requested for the circumstance on ground. It was the fire answer. So a spirit being can respond by fire. But don't forget the golden rule. God answers the spirit. God answers by what? God's answer is God's spirit. And God's spirit is God's answer. But... The manifestation of God's spirit in answers can take on different shades and different colors. Don't say, I like the fire answer more. No, that may not be what you need for your circumstance. If the issue has to do with foundational issues, things fastened into genealogies, fastened into generations, 
you might need an earthquake so that the things that are hid can be brought forth to light. And as you do spiritual exercises like the one we are doing now, you need to take note of the feedback processes. There are feedback processes that we have. I think that's the lecture for tomorrow, the feedback processes. All right? That's when you, it will come to your understanding, are you there, that when the spirit realm is provoked, God wants to speak. And that's the last item here in my note. God wants to speak, all right? So because he, he came first like um, wind, then he came again like what? Earthquake? Then he came again like what? Fire? Then there's the aspect of the voice. Now, the aspect of the voice, even though I'm going to introduce it tonight, but the real lecture on the voice aspect is going to be tomorrow. Because that's how you receive wisdom. Sometimes, sometimes... Um, in spiritual processes, what you need is guidance and wisdom. And that cannot come as an earthquake. That will be captured in a voice. So we'll talk about that briefly, but tomorrow I'm going to show us th those channels. The channels that become open up when the Holy Ghost is trying to give you wisdom. Alright? You still remember that song we normally sing? Channels of my spirit. Open up. Second Chronicles chapter 7 from verse number 1. Second Chronicles chapter 7 from verse number 1. And now when Solomon had made an end of praying, what did he do? He prayed. Alright? And the fire came down from heaven. So it means that the Spirit of God responded to Solomon in what way? By fire. And the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifice. And the glory of the Lord filled the house. And the priest could not enter into the house of the Lord because the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. And when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the Lord was upon the house, they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worshipped and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, and his mercies endure it forever. It was a national prayer day, the day of the inauguration of the temple of God that was built in all majesty. And Solomon was moved in the spirit and he began to make supplication and the scope of his prayer was national. And the proof that God had heard and that God had responded was a sign of fire. So when the spirit of God decides to move in some instances, he answers by is that clear? Okay, so, I, uh, so no need to go into other scriptures, especially the Elijah challenge, and how, oh my God, that's a very powerful scripture. If I read it, it energizes me so much. That's the, the God that answers my father.